Casey, uh, how nice is it to get a bunch of games together and be able to put some games together and maybe get back to yourself a little bit here? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, just the last month overall. Um, you know, I still think there's some things that I feel different on. Obviously, it's been a long year and a lot of time without skating and hockey, but yeah, I mean, it feels great. I go out, have the puck, and have some team success. I think that, that, that caps it off. And um, yeah, it's been a fun last month. Players talk about the game slowing down a little bit. Is it starting to slow down again for you? You know, now that you're able to get back out there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, I think there's times where um, maybe right when I came back, I would kind of rush a play or rush the puck a little bit. Now I find that I, I seem to be hanging on to it a little bit more and, and finding plays, whether whether it's in the D zone, uh, neutral zone, or offensive zone. I think that's the biggest thing, just, just trying to hand it off with a better play than, than you had it and um, go from there. Is this the toughest thing you've ever gone through just this season, just battling through this and coming out through it? Uh, yeah, I think probably hockey-wise. Um, Never, I've guessed, knock on wood for me, but I've never really had a um, long injury like this. So, uh, yeah, it's been a tough year, especially for me. I feel like I had a really good camp. I had a really good summer, and obviously these things happen. I understand that, and um, I think I'm going to definitely have some, some motivation going into this summer and, and the next year. You see, you, you've been a guy being around you for a few years. It's like You get better from each experience. Like how is just... You know, going through a couple injuries and coming out just made you a different person, a better player, or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's taught me some patience. I, uh, I think that's probably one of the things I struggle with most. I'm pretty impatient, so um, it's definitely taught me some patience throughout the year. And um, you know, there's positives to it too. I, I find that just being at home, I've I've grown a lot. Whether it's, I mean. Sounds dumb, but just simply cleaning the cleaning the place and doing my laundry and, and things like that. Um, something that you know, it, obviously, it, sometimes it comes out of boredom, but um, just getting better habits away from the rink, and I've had a lot of time to kind of work on that. So um, there's positives that come out of it, and I think the biggest positive for me is um, it's going to give me some motivation going into the summer to to get right and, and get ready for next year. You had a March debut out of college, you had played in the World Juniors, kind of like Owen has done this year, but what's it like to see him come in and, I mean, 20 minutes a night, it's, it's the NHL. I mean, he's not making it look like the NHL. <laughs> no, he's not. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, he's he's fit right in, I think. It's huge for us. You see our back end now, I mean, what is the average age? Is 22 or something like that? Fitzy's the oldest guy, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy, but I mean, you can see the way he plays and the way he moves and makes plays with the puck. And um, I, I honestly didn't even, I've watched him a few times just when he's played in Minnesota and other things, but uh, I didn't know that he moved that well and was that offensive. I So it's been a really, really pleasant surprise for me. I've been super impressed. I think everyone has. It's Everyone has for sure. What's the experience like? Though? I don't know. When you left Minnesota, I don't know if it was as sudden as Owen. Owen coming here, but just what's it like to be in college one day and, and to be in the NHL the next? And you know, you leave your classes, you know, just, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. I yeah, no, yeah, it's weird for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I pretty much went from eating Herberts and Gerberts every day to being here and <laughs> playing in the NHL and having fun riding on private planes. So, uh, it was completely culture change I guess but I mean you're, you're just in the locker room it feels like you're playing hockey it's you're with guys I feel like hockey guys don't change that much wherever you are they're all just hanging around the rink and, and trying to have a good time so I think that's a positive of it but um, in his case I mean he his turnaround was a little faster than mine I think I had like five days because we were waiting to see if we were going to get into the tournament so um, I had a chance to kind of stay skating at school and um, he just pretty much went from game to game, so it's been really impressive what he's done. What were you, what were you eating? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a sandwich shop on, <laughs> on campus. <laughs> but yeah, most of the guys hit it after uh, class in the morning. All right. So <laughs> only two weeks left. How, how are you looking at? Are you sad the season's ending because you're finally out here playing, or are you looking forward to getting to the summer and really 
get, getting some work in. How, how, are, you, are you sad it's ending, or, or are you looking forward to that summer and working out? Um, I mean, I think everyone's sad it's ending. It's been uh, the last month, especially. I found I found we've put so much of it together that we've been working on and feeling like we've been close to. Even at times, I was hurt. Obviously, I'm watching the games. I'm in a lot of the meetings, so I know a lot of things they talk about, and I've seen it and um, see how one night we do it so well, and then the next night maybe not. And I feel the last month or so we've been doing it pretty much every night, and just putting that together, I think it's going to make it hard for everyone to go home. But at the same time, I think it's it's a great way to end the season. Everyone's going to feel a little bit of that, and, and we're going to be motivated to go home and, and work hard and, and get ready to start the season next year running. So how exciting is it that, I mean, there will be a few changes, but for the most part, this is the group you guys are going to have next season. I mean, you don't have that very often. Yeah, yeah. No, I, we've never really had that um, as a whole here, I think. Um, yeah, I think we've we've done a great job. Obviously, I think it's been said a lot, but we have such good veterans on the team, whether it's Oki, Pisser, Eeks, you know, all those guys. Um, and it, it's been a huge for us and huge for a lot of the young guys, I think, just to see the way that they come to the rink. And um, they work so hard, but they're also having a great time making jokes and um, keeping guys loose. I, I think it's been just great. And um, obviously, they set the, the boundaries for the culture, and um, I think we're going to Obviously, keep trying to follow that. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thanks.